This is KTSM 9 News. Breaking news. Starting off today with breaking news. After a seven month long investigation, the New Mexico Attorney General's Office has now filed felony sexual assault charges, amongst other crimes, against three former NMSU men's basketball players. Thank you so much for joining us. I'm Trevor Thompson. And I'm Stephanie Shields. Now, according to court records, it stems from allegations of hazing, sexual assault, and harassment that ultimately canceled New Mexico State's 2022 23 season back in February. And KT79 Sports Director Colin Deaver has has been following this story the entire way and joins us now with the latest. Hey guys, our viewers probably know the story pretty well by now. Former New Mexico State men's basketball players Deshondre Washington over on the left, Dr. Bradley in the middle, and now Kim Aiken Jr. are all charged with over 10 felony crimes today in New Mexico's third district court in Las Cruces following that attorney general investigation into the sexual assault allegations levied against the three former players by multiple former teammates and NMSU student staff members. The charges include sexual assault as well as false imprisonment. Here is a look at the charges, all of which stem from incidents that allegedly took place between August and November of 2022. Washington and Bradley were each charged with 13 felonies, one count each of second degree criminal sexual penetration aided or abetted by another five counts of fourth degree criminal sexual conduct contact, five counts of false imprisonment and one count each of conspiracy to commit criminal sexual contact and false imprisonment conspiracy. Aiken, meanwhile, was charged with 11 felonies, one count of second degree criminal sexual penetration, five counts of false imprisonment, three counts of fourth degree criminal sexual contact and one count each of conspiracy to commit se uh, criminal sexual contact and false imprisonment conspiracy. Now the trio will not be extradited back to Las Cruces according to a spokesperson for the attorney general's office, but will be required to be in court in Doniana County for their first appearance, which was scheduled earlier today for November 22nd. The AG's investigation began back in April and looked into the same complaints made in an NMSU Title IX sexual misconduct report, as well as two separate lawsuit filings by multiple former teammates of Washington, Brown Bradley and Aiken Jr. The trio were found responsible last week by NMSU of three Title IX sexual misconduct violations. NMSU settled a lawsuit with former players Deuce Benjamin and Shakiru Odunewu for $8 million in June, stemming from these allegations. A second lawsuit was filed by former player Kyle Fight and two unnamed former team members of the Aggie roster last year on Monday. Washington and Aiken are not playing college basketball this year, but Dr. Bradley is on the roster at Nichols State in Louisiana. Nichols State has not responded to multiple requests since August by KTSM for comment, but they told the Nichols Worth student newspaper yesterday that Bradley had been suspended indefinitely. Now, as part of the indictments, the New Mexico Attorney General Raul Torres released this statement saying, quote, the indictment filed against three former student athletes at New Mexico State should serve as an unambiguous signal to everyone in the state that hazing will not be tolerated at our, at our educational institutions. Players, coaches, and administrators at every level are on notice that this type of violent conduct will be prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law. They should also be aware that while this action is an important first step in addressing this inexcusable behavior. Our work in correcting the culture that allowed these crimes to occur is far from finished, end quote. Now, if convicted, the charges carry potential maximum sentences of 27 years, along with a $25,000 fine for Bradley and Washington, and 24 years for Aiken with a $25,000 fine. The Attorney General's office says it is also still conducting a separate review of NMSU's response to the alleged crimes. Criminal charges are not expected from that review. Instead, it is a review to ensure that best practices were followed by the university. We will be speaking with Attorney General Raul Torres later this afternoon. We'll have more on this story in our later newscast. Steph, Trevor.